Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Today, I am going to be sharing with you a little bit about eczema and how we took care of my son's eczema and also made him more comfortable. I have my little basket here of goodies that we used on my son as well as some information I'm gonna be sharing with you that doesn't relate specifically to a product. Now, my son started experiencing eczema before he was a year old. He was getting rashes in the folds of his elbows and behind his knees. He was also getting patches popping up on his actual arms and his legs as well. So I knew at that point we had to change something. So before we get into the products, let me just say that eczema is an external reaction to an internal problem. And that problem typically relates to the gut. So since eczema stems from the gut, there are a couple things that we did to help heal his gut. The first one was the chiropractor. Um, he has been going to the chiropractor since he was born, really. And so we just continued that. We upped his visits for a while just to make sure that everything was aligned in his body. And we also put him on a probiotic this is the Claire Labs Therbiotic for Infants. This is really great because it's a powder and so you just scoop one scoop right into his bottle. Now we put it into his water jug so it's really convenient. It's tasteless. It doesn't create any different consistency for the beverage so this is a really simple one. Um, it's also a really good one so I highly recommend this one. We got this from his chiropractor. Another way to work on healing the gut is to get a food sensitivity test. This is great because it's gonna tell you the foods that your body is sensitive to that could be creating additional inflammation, which is what we don't want. They have these really convenient finger prick kits that you can get and then you send it in and they will send you back a detailed report of foods that your body is sensitive to and foods that your body had no reaction to. So this is a great way to identify and then remove those. Typically with eczema, the two big triggers are gluten and dairy. So those would be the three things that I would do first. Chiropractic care, a good probiotic, and a food sensitivity test. Those are the three things that are going to cure the eczema. But now let's move into things that can help soothe and provide some relief for the discomfort that your child may be having. The first thing is minimize baths. My son has gotten a bath once a week since he was born. He is two years old now and he still only gets one bath a week unless he really needs it. We also don't use soap unless it's needed. So we love these Norwex baby cloths. They are really soft. They're great just to wipe down his body, but I find that him soaking in the tub does the job. Eliminating you know, any unnecessary baths and then avoiding any soaps with salts in them. Salts can be very drying to the skin and so when your skin is already having some discomfort, drying it out even more is just gonna make it worse. When it comes to topical lotions, creams, and salves, you wanna be really careful what you're putting on your child's skin. One, because their skin is so sensitive and they're so young, but also because you want the skin to be able to breathe. So avoiding products with mineral oil and petroleum because these ingredients actually create a barrier on the skin and they don't let the skin breathe. They don't let anything get in or out. We really want our skin to be breathing and when you have eczema, you want it to be able to heal and it needs oxygen, but using petroleum and mineral oil based products create that barrier and then the moisture just slips off. So it's not actually providing any additional moisture. So this is the first product I tried for his eczema. This is the Baby Garnix Eczema Care Skin Protectant Cream. This was okay. I did like it at first. It's a really thick um, cream, which was really nice. I knew that it wasn't going to just wipe off of his skin once I put his clothes on. So I did really like this one. Um, but you'll see coming up what my favorite product was, but this was good and I had repurchased it a few times. The second product that I tried was the Honest Company Eczema Cream Soothing Therapy Skin Protectant. This also was nice. Um, I preferred the Baby Canix over this one, to be honest. Both of these have 1% colloidal oatmeal as the active ingredient, which is going to help soothe the skin. So these were okay, but let's move on to my favorite products. So the first products I tried, as I mentioned, was the Baby Canix and the Honest Company eczema creams. Then I came across this Keys Medicare Natural Intensive Therapy Cream. This stuff is 
pretty amazing. It has a lemony citrus scent, which was really pleasant. And it's a little bit thinner than the other two, but I just really found that this worked better. It's a really intense cream. It has neem and karanja oil. It is for itching, skin disorders, burns, scrapes, and rashes. And if I remember correctly, this was created by a woman who had cancer and the um, chemo was making her really itchy. So I believe that this that's how this came about. Plus, this has really natural ingredients, which I can appreciate. I didn't have to be concerned if he was scratching himself after I put this on him, though I tried to keep his fingers out of his mouth. If they made it in there anyways, I wasn't as concerned using this as I was with the Baby Ganics and the Honest Company. So I really, really like this. I really love the ingredients and the scent, and I love how it worked. But my very favorite product, well, brand actually that I found to provide some relief for my son's discomfort was eczema honey co this stuff is so good um, it works really well it smells really good it is just I love it so much they have a huge line of products that are specifically for people with eczema so this is the skin soothing cream this is the first product that I tried from them I believe that this is kind of like their flagship product I love it it is more along the lines of a salve than it is a true cream it is kind of thicker in the tub but when you put it on it thins out and it just the stuff is amazing I feel really good about the ingredients that are in here as well so I really really loved this but then I realized that they had a whole line of products so the next product I tried was the oatmeal bath bomb and this is awesome when he gets out of the bath there's actually a like a moisturizing barrier on his skin I don't know what this thing is but it is pure magic it just makes his water so I don't I don't want to say like slick or slippery but kind of so he just when he gets out of the bath he feels like he already has moisturizer on oh and they smell so good too i love these i love this brand so much so this is the oatmeal bath bomb they also have a spray which i am out of and didn't repurchase because it just wasn't a product that i was super interested in and the last product i tried from eggs honey co which i actually prefer over the cream is this gentle face and body lotion stick i love this because it's so convenient you just unscrew the lid you twist it up it's like a stick deodorant kind of and you just can put it right on the area you can swipe it all over the body it's got a pretty nice size product opening here at the end which is really nice it smells so good oh it smells so good so i really like this i actually like i said prefer this over the salve just because you don't have to dip into the pot to get it and then rub it on and then it's all over hands this is just super convenient especially for travel eczema honey co as i mentioned hands down my favorite brand for topical products to help provide some relief um, as we were working through healing my son's gut and figuring out what foods were causing him some discomfort. I hope that you found some of this information helpful. I know having a little one with eczema is so heartbreaking just to see them being um, uncomfortable and not knowing what you can do to make it better. It's really frustrating to kind of walk that journey and I can relate with you. It's no fun, but I encourage you to get in touch with a chiropractor if you're not already. Start working on getting the body aligned and healing the gut with a good probiotic. Do a food sensitivity test to find out what foods are irritating your little one. Um, and also talk to your doctor to see what ways you guys can work together to help your little one feel better. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you found this information helpful, that you were able to take away some different tips, tricks, or product recommendations. If you found this content helpful, I would really encourage you to consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, and I would love to have you here with me. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.